Fairfax County Public Schools employs more than 350 visual art teachers, most of whom continue to create art while sharing their expertise with students. FCPS is proud to showcase the talents and artistic achievements of these artist teachers at an annual art show in Lorton. Tonight's event is our sixth annual artist teacher exhibition. It's uh, this year called Instruct Art and it's an exhibition that's put together uh, in uh, collaboration with the Workhouse Art Center. Uh, it is an opportunity for art teachers to submit work that they do on their own time uh, as practicing artists and uh, submit their work to be judged and selected to be included in this exhibition. Tonight there are 50 artworks on display here and that represents 41 different art teachers um, of about 225 entries that we got to this exhibition this year. The artwork on display consists of everything from paintings and photographs to ceramics and woodworks. There are even illustrations for a book written by a fellow teacher. Several years ago, I uh, wrote a true story about my first picture day using uh, the same type of uh, time frame of Dick and Jane, which was the reader, the pr primary reader that I learned to read on. And I approached the art teacher in my school building, I'm a teacher, if she would be interested in illustrating the story that I wrote. And she was, and this is what she came up with. So, as Jane has mentioned, uh, her story takes place in the flashback. It's a story of a grandmother and a granddaughter, and as the granddaughter shares her troubles, the main character has a flashback of a story. She solves a problem. In the end, grandma and the granddaughter come together, and they share their own experiences. And I could just visualize what Jane had written in her work. Um, so this piece is um, it's oil on canvas, and it was um, my major in art school was painting, and so that's my primary medium. And actually this was on New Year's Day a couple of years ago, I went out and photographed Great Falls because it's just, it's so beautiful and, and just the energy and the power of the water. Um, it's just it's so inspiring to be by. And so I, I just took my iPhone actually and um, did a, created a panoramic and then um, when I printed out the pictures, they just happened to line up in this kind of uneven way that I really liked. It really kind of accentuated the flow and power of the water. And so I decided to make a triptych painting of it. Being a working artist keeps teachers engaged in the creative process and gives them the experience and knowledge necessary to pass on to their students in Fairfax County. Um, being a practicing artist definitely helps in the classroom because it enables me to connect more with my students if they're having a problem. I've had that problem, I probably had it recently, so I can help them fix it. And I'm constantly learning new things about making art, which enables me to teach them new things about making art instead of doing the same thing over and over, it's keeping everything fresh and new and exciting. I think this exhibition is a great idea, and it was nice to be recognized because for me, there's always this struggle between being an art teacher and an artist, and most of my time and energy goes into being an art teacher. So to be recognized also as an artist by the county I now work for is really nice because it just reminds me and it shows others that there's more to me than just being a teacher and facilitating other people's artwork. And so to come in here and see that it's not just me, but actually many across the county who are not just art teachers, but also artists, is really rewarding and it's just really inspirational altogether. For more information on FCPS's visual art curriculum, visit the website on your screen.